but then, what do you want? Tick. I didn't get a time here to make the registration. I've heard rumors that if you win the challenge, you get an awesome Pokemon like Kale did. Oh, sheesh, what am I saying? You have to keep that a secret. Pretend I never heard. What? Scott was the Kale that got hit around the entrance. Yes. We should ask him. He might know something. Dun. So, he's saying you get one of them shadow Pokemon if you win at the Coliseum. Well, I already have some shadow Pokemon. Uh, switch them out right now. Now I remember. Thank you, me talking to myself. Let's switch. Oh, they're still asleep. I should probably go and heal them. And I could have just healed them while I'm there. But I have no patience or feeling to go walk back there. So we will go right ahead and just talk to Cal, even though I think we might fight him. And then I would be completely screwed if my shadow Pokemon died. Okay, let's go to Kel. Get out of the way, old man! Ha! What's that? You wanna know where I have a weird Pokemon? Hehe. <laughs> if you wanna know that. Oh, crap! Ah, I'm a dumbass. Hey, remember that last fight? That thing I needed and I forgot to buy in between the games that catch Shadow Pokemon? Yeah! I kind of need that. Oh, please don't be one of the guys I want on my team. If that is, if the, if he is one of the guys I want on my team, I'm going to punch myself in the face so many times. I I would like start crying on mic right now. I'm not even. Eh, I am kind of joking, but I probably would be like deep down in my heart, I love you. No! type of cry because I would like I would be extremely pissed off because I do I can tell about me not even want to walk back and uh, heal my th Pokemon I don't have any patience at all I just like playing games I don't really I usually really don't 100% games I think the first game I ever 100% was uh, Super Mario Galaxy uh, because well mostly because uh, you get the Luigi unlock, and I just felt like it. it I want to play all the levels because the first time I played through, I missed like half the levels, and it was really fun. Like it wasn't like going out of the way to get 100% like you have to. I've said like like 20 times like in this like like sentence like like. Uh, 100%ing uh, it is not like going in. I keep saying like is like okay. I'm just gonna say like when it comes out of my like like mouth so I can like say when I like like one. It's not like in other games where you have to go around and collect like books or something and it's really boring. It's playing actual levels to uh, get 100% which is nice. I think there's, oh the only other other game I ever 100% was uh, Super Mario 3 which is same same concept as Super Mario Galaxy. Have you ever 100% of games? I usually, when I talk about something, I ask you, why Why do I have the urge every time I talk about something to say, like, hey, yeah, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm thinking in my head, this is kind of what I should keep to myself and not just blather out to people when I'm talking about it in my thing. But I just like to be me on the mic and talk to you guys as I would be talking to... Uh, talking to other people. This is kind of how I talk to other people. See, like, I don't... What I'm thinking in my head, I don't keep inside, and I just let it out, which is probably a bad thing, because I bore you a lot, and I just keep going on long rambling sessions like this. So, have you ever, <laughs> I said all of that just to say, have you ever 100% of the game, and which game, leave down in the comments. And, uh, nice to say now, if you like this video, or really like it, uh, favorite, like the video, and... Leave a comment or whatever saying how much you love Save is Untitled. And if you write a comment saying you love Save is Untitled, I will personally come to your house and give you a cookie. And it will be chocolate chip and you cannot get it changed. And if you're lactose intolerant, too freaking bad. You're going to get that cookie and you're going to like it. So, yeah, I went about talking about cookies for like 20 minutes and we're still fighting Kale and... Is Machop a Shadow Pokemon? I don't want him on my team, but good, okay. Never really cared for the Machop, Machop, Machamp family. Just not my thing. I don't really like fighting types, because they can easily uh, 
they get owned by uh, psychic types because they usually don't have really high uh, special defense. And uh, flying types own them really fast too, but not as much. And I've always preferred. Wait, fighting types. Yeah, fighting types are only good against normal. It doesn't really seem like that good of a thing to be good against normal unless you're fighting, fighting like a Blissey or something, but that's more like you want to go after them with stats, and I keep saying like, like. Because I have all this competitive battling things in my head, and I just. They just. Co they're coming out from the back of my head from uh, the cobwebs from a while ago. Dun, dun. I'm. If you haven't no noticed already, I'm recording a bunch of Pokemon and Coliseum all together, so I don't have to do my uh, half hour setup again for like three times. That's annoying as hell to do because uh, my computer is nowhere near my uh, gaming setup, so I have to bring a TV, put it somewhere, bring my Wii upstairs, and it's a pain in the ass to do. And I would feel so stupid if my uh, if everything crashed on my computer and all this footage was lost. I would probably I I wouldn't cry. I would just be like, oh. <laughs> and then I would probably yell randomly, even though it wouldn't even pertain to the situation. I'd be like, freaking creepers! And then I would just open my front door and I would see a creeper, and then I would die, and then. I would die. Why am I this crazy? And I just go off and talking about random creepers outside my front door. If I saw a creeper in real life, who even thinks of that? If I saw a creeper in real life, that sounds like something like an intense nerd discussion. If I saw a creeper in real life, I, I would obviously go to my shed and grab a diamond sword and beat the crap out of him. Because that's, that's just how I am. No, and then your other nerd would be like, you're so stupid. You'd obviously use your bow and arrow to keep your distance from the creeper from destroying everything. And then they would just have a giant nerd fight. Oh, I should probably read that. Something about Mirror B. He came up to me with that tough sounding, na sounding name, Shadow Pokemon. But it was no big deal. You guys be careful too. Don't get played for a second. That's about all they give you if you win at the Coliseum. Shadow Pokemon? Shadow Pokemon? That's what it's called, a Shadow Pokemon? That Pokemon with the black aura? Boom! Da -da -da -da. I trust things are going to plan, Mirabee. Oh yes, indeed, Master Nascor. Our plan is coming along in a lovely peach king way. We've already broken Duke in spirit. We can please it at the Coliseum without his meddling. We've been giving away Shadow Pokemon on the sly to challenge winners for gathering data. Good. Others also appear to be doing their parts in impeding, in pleading, I can't say that word, our plan. Our Shadow Pokemon plan is falling into place quickly. The final phase is not far off. F you ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. This is perking up my spirit and body. I feel like dancing. Save your dancing until our plan succeed. I'm off. Ariba! Oh, no music, I'm sad. Okay then. I shall make my return to the cave where my darling Pokemon await my return. Let the music play. Yes! Ariba! It looks like the Coliseum has a secret. No! Really? Didn't you say that like 10 minutes ago? I guess there's no choice but to take part in the battle challenge there. Okay, sounds good to me. I just want to see what this old man wants. Yo, old man, what do you want? This is Pyrite, the town of Earth, wind, and money. You will see the be outsiders, you had best beware, there never were the sorts here back in my day. Our Pokemon weren't so shadowy, and there was just 151 and we didn't have to care about the good things like bacon and cheeseburgers. That is a terrible old person voice, if I do say so myself. I am buying Pokeballs right now before I forget. And if they don't have them here, I'm gonna punch myself in the face. Ow! 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 Ah! 
Be right back. And yes, I did actually punch myself in the face. Didn't hurt that much. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I should probably stop doing that. I think we have enough Pokeballs now. So now we will go into the Coliseum and we'll remember to heal our Pokemon this time. Like a responsible adult. Yes, I would like... And save too. That's a good idea. Be actually smart sometime. Actually smart sometime. I don't even think that's a sentence. Uh, I love it being ironic. Yes, overwrite save file. Wow, one hour. That was probably a lot of me just sitting around with the controller there. And yeah, we are going to... Uh, oh my god, I'm terrible at intros. So yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up for this episode. And next episode, we are going to go into the Coliseum and fight a good fight to get us some Shadow Pokemans. So, I've been Save as Untitled. We are going to the Coliseum. Get to the Coliseum. I cannot do an Arnold Schwarzenegger voice for my life. So, yeah, and I keep... Uh, next time on Let's Play uh, Pokemon Coliseum, we're going to go to a Coliseum. See you guys with the tight eye. Ah, um, see you guys.